Hey there folks and welcome back to Space Engineers. While I was recording this episode that I'm posting right now, there was a little bug in my Let's Play Survival World and I wasn't ap actually able to get a lot of work done, so I'll show you what what I got recorded anyways, but uh, unfortunately uh, the world is bugged as of right now and I can't do anything. I've been working on it for about 24 hours and no matter what I do, the game still has the same bug where the the person stays in the same location despite the fact it says that he's moving so if you guys have a solution to the problem I'm willing to do just about anything to get that world back so feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below if you know how to actually fix that issue I've restarted my computer I've restarted the game I've copied the game file I've uploaded it to the Steam Workshop re-downloaded it it still has that same bug at least on my computer so if you guys have any solutions, feel free to let me know. I'm willing to uh, try to work it out. So hopefully the game developers actually fix this bug. It's a known bug, whereas there's a memory leak. So we'll see. Anyhow, I got a little bit of stuff done in the episode, so I'm going to roll what we got done. So roll the tape, I guess. Hey there, folks, and welcome back to Space Engineers Survival. We are in the engineering section of the ghost. Well... Actually, if you notice, it's not the ghost because it's not colored blue. Let's take a look. This is in a creative mode, but we're going to take a look at one of the updates that they've added to the game, which would be large ship drills. Honestly, they don't look much more impressive than the regular ship drills, but they're here. And I just decided to go into a creative mode. We customized our ghost chassis a little bit. We chopped off the front cockpit. We added a little extended um, pylon that connects to all of these drills. And all the drills connect via conveyor tubes to the large, uh, the large storage containers. And the large storage containers are connected. So if you're at one container, you can just pick something out of the other container instead of having to go back and forth. And that's something I should really do in my Let's Play world, is just put that little tube there. It makes things way easier. Anyhow, let's take a look at the actual drills themselves. They cover about the same surface area as a small ship drill. Well, maybe a little bit bigger. So here's a small ship drill. And it covers about a one block by one block area. As you can see, it actually takes up a full block. And so do these, except these are a little bit longer, and I think they have a little bit longer or a little bit wider um, drill radius, but not too terribly much. So back in the survival world, I don't know if we're actually going to build a large ship like this because it'll take a lot of resources and honestly isn't that much better than the ship we already have. But just because it's fun, we're going to have some fun. Just because it's fun, we're going to have some fun. Wow, I can speak English. <laughs> Anyhow, and adding all this weight does affect the performance. As you see, I had to move the uh, retro thrusters from the front of the ship back to the back of the ship over here where we had our landing gear to dock onto ships. So we no longer have that if we were to make something like this. And let's have some fun. Let's uh, eat this ship over here. We won't actually get any parts from it, but it's fun, right? And then we're going to see how far we can burrow into the asteroid. Ooh, yeah. <laughs> that ship doesn't stand a chance. Om nom nom. And it's gone. <laughs> and all the stuff that we do mine goes directly into the large cargo containers, which is very, very useful. We could also add connectors and ejectors on here if we were to actually make this ship, but we're not, so... That's all right. And just a little bit of work from this and you get all the materials you'll ever need. Unfortunately, it doesn't burrow as fast as the other ship that we made in survival in the survival world. So that's kind of a bummer. Maybe it needs more engines on it. That's why. Yes, that's why. And as you can see all those sparks are flying off. I don't think it's actually damaging the the drills, but Eh, yeah, they're still sparking. Well, let's uh, back out of here and take a look and see what we got collected. See if there's anything left of that ship. 
My guess would be no. All right. Actually, let's go in here. Go into the inventory. Let's scroll down. Yeah, eighty-five thousand and one hundred eleven thousand kilos. I can move it all to one container. Yeah, that's that's more than you'll need for quite a lot for quite a long time. You might be able to build a quite a large ship with that amount of steel. And let's just go to the front of the ship and see if anything actually did take damage, and then we'll see what's left of that. Well, let's, yeah, there's not much left of that ship at all. I can fix you, I swear. I actually wonder what part of the ship this was. Probably never be able to tell. Ah, yes. Let's just take a look, make sure no damage was actually taken. It's mostly these corner ones that spark. Yeah. Yep, no no damage done at all. Oh, there's a little bit of damage to one of some of these bottom ones. Not too terribly much, though. So, yep, that's the update that they've done. And let's hop back into our survival world and do some building and mining and all sorts of fun stuff. So see you guys back in a little bit. All right, folks, and we're back in our Let's Play Survival World. Wait. What? I'm, I'm, I can't move. Come on. I, I can see my speed moving. I'm moving my mouse. Nothing's happening. Oh, this this is a known bug in the game. Oh, come on. Yeah, there's a known bug in the game. There's, like, a memory leak that happens, and... It makes it look like you're... Or the game thinks that you're moving, but you're not actually moving. And we're stuck. I'm going to see what I can do and see if we can solve this issue and get on with our episode, but um, I hope to fix this and, well, hopefully there'll be a jump cut where I continue with the episode, but if there's not, that means that uh, they're going to have to fix this bug before we can actually continue with our Let's Play world, so hopefully we'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, it's been 24 hours. I've been uh, trying to do everything. Restarting my computer, restarting the game, going through uh, file saves. I even tried uploading this to the Steam Workshop and reloading it, and it still doesn't work. So, until they fix this bug, I'm not going to be able to make any Space Engineers episodes, unfortunately. I'm going to see what I can do in the meantime. So... Just so you guys can have a little fun while I'm trying to fix this issue, I'm going to upload this world save to the Steam Workshop, and hopefully you guys can at least have some fun with it. And if you guys actually know the issue that I'm having, and feel free to post it in the comments, I'd really like to know so I can actually uh, continue to play this game, because there was some cool stuff I had planned for this episode that I can't do. Alright, so... If you guys have any uh, comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I will read them, so thank you folks. I'll see you guys next time.